I hear Jesus saying When you feel alone, I'll be there for you I'll never leave you, never forsake you Cause I care for you Cause I care for you No one to turn to, don't you worry I'll be right there in a hurry I'll be your friend Yes, I will
Amen. May God bless you. May he keep you. We were speaking about Abraham when he was ready down in the tent. There was three men, three men that appeared, and they were standing off and seemed to be looking towards Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible said that Abraham ran to these men and fell to the ground and asked one particular man. that he recognized as being a supreme and powerful spirit. He asked him if it pleases you stop being in for a while and I'll give you something to eat and I'll draw fresh water for you to Wash your feet. Well, this was about the time that Abraham had just finished defeating Kilimore's army. And they were still over against Sodom and Gomorrah. And Lot went back to his position started off where he left off from. Open and Sodom and Gomorrah. But now, they admitted they had, they had moved a bit farther after the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. They had moved home. that plead to the mountains like he and him and his two daughters. His wife, which was, which was amongst them, had turned around and looked back towards Sodom and turned into a sword. So now was Lot and his two daughters. Amen. We're going to start from chapter 19. And we're going to read to the Holy Spirit. Says, yes. And it reads, After Lot left the Lord, because he was afraid of the people there, and he went to live in a cave in the mountains with his two daughters. One day the oldest daughter said to her sister, there isn't, there isn't any man, there isn't a man anywhere in the entire area for us to marry. And our father was soon be too old to have children. Come let us, let us, come let us get him drunk with wine. And then we will sleep with him. That way we will preserve our family's line to our father. So that night they got him drunk and the oldest daughter, daughter went in and slept with her father. He was unaware of her lying down and getting up again. The next morning the older daughter said to the youngest sister, I slept with her father last night. Let's get him drunk with wine again tonight. And you will go in and sleep with him. That was our way. That 
was our that way our family line would be preserved. So that night they got they got him drunk again. And the youngest daughter went in and slept with him. And before he was unaware of her lying down and getting up again. So both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by the father. The oldest daughter gave birth to a son. She named him a Moab. He became a ancestor of the nation now known as the Moabites. When the youngest daughter gave birth to a son, she named him Benjamin. He became an ancestor of a nation now known as the Amorites. Amen, may it be a blessing to the ears and the doors of God's mighty word. Amen, great ministry. Oh, just bear with me, we are looking to Install an air condition in the sanctuary. So just bear with me for a while. I know I'll be wiping water, but that's all right. It's all done for the good and the greatness of God. You know, as I look. I believe that sometimes we as God's children, followers of his word, I believe that sometimes we make quick judgment and unrational decisions in our lives. Meaning that sometimes we jump the gun. We try to make things happen when it has no providence in God. God sometimes in our decisions has no part in no partners in our decisions. Sometimes our decisions are made by us and by us alone. Why? Because sometimes we draw sometimes weary. We lose focus of our destination. our direction to the holy lines. And how do we do that? It's because we sometimes step back behind the line. Instead of sometimes stepping up to the line. Oh God, sometimes he gives us a word of encouragement that calls us to ultimately step over the line. I believe that sometimes we must sometimes have courage. 
have courage to wait on God. And that will sometimes, brothers and sisters, be the hardest thing that you will ever encounter in your life. steadfast and unmovable. It's not in God's word. Withdraw us into self-destruction. But guess what? We have a God that is I'm going to say place because they left for us and went to the mountains because he was afraid of the people who was in this particular city. Oh, I believe that He jumped to a conclusion, started following his own ways. Because I believe that God is for you who can dare be against you. Oh, God knows, like his uncle. Make a way out of no way. He turned the midnight into the break of the day. But his mood, his daughter got an idea to sleep with the father. Because they believe, she believes that. A father was getting too old to give birth to a child. But I want to believe that if, if they would have waited upon the Lord, just like he blessed his uncle, Abraham. Abraham was 99 years old. And God told him he was going to bless him with a son to his wife Sarah. Who it was impossible for to have children. It was impossible for God. Oh, he can take you from the road where you are right now. Because sometimes we got to travel the road that we're traveling to recognize God. To recognize the spirit when it comes upon us. Oh, sometimes it takes tragedy. Sometimes it takes sickness. Sometimes it takes your child walking about at the door. 
times it takes a rebelliousness of your bloodline. Oh, can I stay real with you? For you to break the lines to the Holy Spirit. Oh, you can't break the line to the Holy Spirit. In your riches, worldly glory. Because you feel like you have everything. And you've done everything. So you have no time for the words of God. Or you don't have no time to even consider the words that you read. We are born the Lord. Be faithful to the call. Whatever you are doing right now, be faithful to God. And watch you make a way out of the way. Lord, oh, you can what you want to call me. But I can tell you in my life, I've been trying to hide by the world. I've been tried by the bloodline. I've been tried in this weakness. I've been tried in the let down. My daughter's had jumped into a, a pig. What can they call selfish inside? Because they didn't wait upon God. Oh, sometimes things change though. Back home, his brother 
Abraham. Abraham seems to start to go back up uh, to the moon, to the old tree. So 
way to this old Abraham. So I want you to consider taking the other half of my land. Because he gave Abraham sheep cows and all gave them silver made them rich and told them he can do what he want to do with the other side of this man he blessed Abraham why because God told him Call of that the true was about to commit. Say, I want you to ask Abraham. He is a prophet. Ask him to pray for you. And I will lift the curse upon the house. So the Bible said that Abraham for his family. Pray for the household. And the curse was lifted. And I say to us today that before we draw conclusion, before we look on the arm of Leah's kin, of an individual. We must first check the Lord. Because we as people, we as human, we can jump to conclusions. Just because the person don't meet our standards. But what we don't recognize is in our standards. It's not God's standards. God's standards are not our standards. Our judgment's not God's judgment. Because God's judgment is true and fair and patient. God is love. And that's what he's trying to get his people. Oh, God have mercy. You know, the people are quick to figure you out and draw judgment upon you. They're so quick to judge your destiny. to change you up try to click off your destiny but I tell you brothers and sisters that God's way is the true way people are going to try to shut you down shut you up Because they haven't gotten to the destination yet. I believe that once they reach their destination, that they will destroy.
forgive the one who hurt you the most and order for you to forgive fully you must ask the holy ghost to change your heart and mind and to keep the past behind you've got to be changed from all that's keeping you